All right, welcome back everyone. This is another random installment of Introduction to Insect Taxonomy and Identification. Uh, I wanted to talk about another group of extinct insects. And these insects are called the alien optera. So alien wing. Uh, and this is a, an order of insects primarily known from the Cretaceous, uh, starting about 100 million years ago. So this is kind of the last era of the dinosaurs. And the reason that they're called the alien optera, the alien wings, is that there has been some problems historically of placing these guys into the taxonomic hierarchy of insects because they share a lot of body shape characteristics with a lot of other groups. Many of these species resemble beetles. Uh, some of them are ant mimics. Some of them are wasp mimics. Uh, some of them look a bit like mantises, some of them look a bit like roaches. And so, historically, there was a lot of debate over what exactly these things were. And unfortunately, there weren't a lot of known species of these, so there wasn't a lot to go off of. Uh, so, hence the name, the Alienoptera, the uh, foreign wings, uh, the foreign insects. Uh, so, currently, the best understanding of these is that they are placed somewhere in the Dictyoptera. And if you have watched the previous installment of the taxonomy talking about extinct insects, I talked about the Paleodictyoptera. Uh, and the Dictyoptera, it, that means net wings. And it, it is a group uh, here. It's not an individual group. It's a, gr it's a larger group of orders of insects. It is the uh, termites, the roaches, and the mantises. These are the currently known Dictyoptera. So where do, the, where do these alien optera fit in? So the current thought is either they represent some sort of offshoot in here as a midway point between the roaches and the mantises, or it is a sister group to the mantises. Uh, so it's a, I've seen papers arguing both. I think the latest paper is saying that the uh, alien optera are kind of a sister group to the mantises. Uh, and they they're really don't look that much like mantises. They're very small, uh, but you can kind of see it. So let's look at these a little bit. There are currently known to, there are two families within the Alienoptera. You have the Alienopterids and the Eumenocoleids. So the Alienopterids are, uh, as you can guess, kind of the namesake group for this order. And unfortunately, there's just not very many species known. There's only 21 known species in this group. And the Eumenicoleids, there's 31 known species. Most of these are only known from amber. Uh, there's a few fossils, proper fossils, rock fossils, but most of these are known from amber. The Alienopterids, which look like this. This is an artist's rendition of what the Alienopterids look like based on the fossils and this is a little easier to see i'll show you some of the fossils and the amber in just a minute but this is the group that's primarily the wasp and ant mimics so you can see like this guy here is very much like uh an ant um so this in these uh species this family of uh, species they will either completely lack wings or the forewing the front wing is shortened into this little el hardened elytra-like scale. And the elytra is the forewing of the beetles, which is why uh, some of these were thought to maybe, maybe be uh, related to beetles because of these forewings. Um, and this is not a characteristic seen in the other rochoid dictyopterans, where you have this uh, hardened scale-like forewing. Although there are a lot of beetles now uh, nowadays that do have a characteristic like this, uh, like the Staphylinids, which are the row of beetles, which have a little scale like elytra. Uh, so either they will, this group, the Alienopteridae, will either have this or they'll be missing the wings entirely. This group is the earliest known ant mimics uh, and some of the earliest known wasp mimics, uh, but specifically with the ants, these evolved at the same time that the ants were evolving and also the same time that the ants were becoming social. So these guys could get in there and uh, kind of pretend to be an ant, which is pretty cool. The Eumenicoleids, the other family, so the second family with 31 known species, look like this. And these were the ones that really look like beetles. 
So there's 31 known species. They really look like beetles. They don't have a scale like elytra. They have this uh, very large um, hardened elytra that completely covers their hind wings. And the thought is, is that these, uh, that this family probably lived underneath bark. And so they needed these elytra-like uh, tegmina, these four wings, in order to give them some protection when they were in between the bark and the tree in this really tight space. Both groups have very large compound eyes, as you can see from these, from these drawings, uh, especially like this guy down here. Very, very large compound eyes, which is kind of mantis-like here. You can kind of see the mantis head here. And their head is also, uh, when you look at it head on, is very triangular. Uh, so if I draw this out, let me get rid of this circle. If you were to look at it head on, or to look like head on for a mantis, a mantis head kind of has this triangular look. It has these big eyes, and then the mouth part's down here, right? Boop, boop. That's a mantis head. This head is very similar to uh, the Alienoptera head. So you can kind of see the mantis relations there. Both groups also appear to have been pretty successful. Amber specimens of these are found all over the world, on pretty much every continent, except for Antarctica, because we can't really look there. But this is what the fossils look like if you are uh, collecting them. So you'll either have a rock fossil or an amber fossil. Uh, and mo like I said before, most of them are found in amber. So this is what they would look like. Even this one here very much resembles uh, kind of like a wasp. Like if you if you didn't know what you were looking at and you saw this, you might think, okay, this is some kind of wasp. The, the hind wings here really are wasp-like. Um, and this one over here, a, a Eumenicoleid, uh, very, very beetle-like. Some of them additionally, so this is an, an ant mimic. This is a uh, alien opterid. Some of them have been found with gymnosperm, po gymnosperm pollen grains in the amber with them, including embedded in their mouth. So this is actually really interesting because uh, originally these guys were thought to have been predators, uh, specifically because of their uh, forelegs. Some species have a, a kind of what looks like a raptorial foreleg, similar to a mantis's, uh, you know, forelegs that they use to capture their prey. Uh, and they also tended to have, um, if we go back to the illustrations, these very long uh, tarsi on, the, on their feet which had a pulvilli and impodium, uh, or impodium and an areolium, which is used for like skittering along quickly on leaf surfaces. They help you stick to the leaf surfaces. But then this, this guy was found, and he was found with all this pollen on his body and in his mouth. And it uh, brought up a new possibility, which is actually these guys may have been either pollen feeders on gymnosperms, which are, uh, if you're not familiar with the botanical term, the gymnosperms are the naked seeds, that's what that means. And they're the, th the conifers, the pines, the fir trees, things like that. They may have actually been a pollinator. So this would, this would have been one of the earliest known pollinators of the gymnosperms, which is really interesting. So we're not entirely sure if they were all predatory or if they were just kind of omnivorous. Maybe some of them were uh, specialist pollinators. Um, and that's kind of the theme with this group is we just don't know that much about them because there just aren't that many known fossils of them. Uh, like I said, there's only about 52 in 52 known species in the entire order. Most of them are known from amber and almost all of those have been discovered in the last 10 years. Um, the, the numbers have really gone up over the last 10 years. People are really looking. A lot of these are known specifically from amber in, uh, Burma, which has taken, a, that country is not particularly stable, um, so it's not like you can get a lot of stuff out of Burma. Uh, so a lot of this research is, is relatively new, and there's not a ton known about this group. So uh, now you know about the alien wings, the alien optera, and I'll talk to you guys later.